Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll see the interfacing of Arduino Uno with the Ethernet Shield. The Ethernet Shield is of WISNET W5500 chip. In this tutorial we'll require an Arduino Uno, one Ethernet Shield, a RJ45 cable, LED and ThinkSpeak account. So the status of the LED, LED will be monitored and uh, its status will be updated in your ThinkSpeak account. So the setup goes like this. Here we have our Uno and the Ethernet shield is mounted on that. The serial cable is used for serial communication between your Uno and the laptop. And the Ethernet cable is used for network connection. In case if you are using some another chip then the connection goes like this and here your 10 11 12 13 pin sorry 10 11 and 12 pin is used for spi communication as the ethernet works on spi now we'll move on to the web client code through the web client code we can um, determine if your shield is working properly or not if it gets connected to the network that means your shield is working fine so in the web client code we need two header files um, here is the mac address which is present mostly behind your ethernet shield uh, this is the server that we are going to hit in case of dhcp fails then this ip address can be assigned to your ethernet shield manually and in the setup we just begin a serial communication uh, this is not needed uh, and uh, in Ether so yeah we begin the ethernet uh, by assigning the sorry by passing the mac address and if it fails then we manually begin the ethernet and once it gets connected with the server on port 80 and we pass the http request and uh, now let's upload the code So the uploading is done. Now we'll check it. We can see the RX and TX LEDs flashing on the Arduino. Yeah, perfect. So over here, the Arduino gets connected. And uh, the header information is printed and then it disconnects. So the Arduino here is getting connected to your network. Now let's move on to the ThingSpeak account. Uh, the ThingSpeak is used uh, mostly to upload your sensor data and then monitor it and analyze it. So if you're logging in, you're visiting it for the first time, you need to sign up. Um, I'll log in here. So once you log in, you need to go to my channels. Here, a new channel. In the new channel section, you need to pass the name of your project. The description, uh, sorry, in the description you need to pass what your project is exactly doing. So here I'll write monitoring status of LED. Um, so here I have only one sensor, so only one data I'm going to pass that is on or off and so we'll require only one field if you have n number of sensors you can use these fields 
and uh, so you'll give the LED uh, sorry the field one uh, the name as LED status here you have many other options and here is the uh, in the channel settings you have all the different uh, fields which you can use you can make your channel as public private right now I'm keeping it as private and yeah so we'll make the channel so right now here we have a private view public view channel settings API keys so in the private view you can add visualizations you can edit this field chart you can set the min and max right now I just have on or off so I will give min as minus one and max as one uh, you can give a title that is LED status and yeah that's it for now so yeah so this is the changes in your field one chart you can add some visualizations to it some gauge or something and um, that's it so in the api key you would get two keys which is the right api key and read api key the right api key is used when you want to pass data from your arduino to the thingspeak account and read api key is when you want to read the data from your thingspeak account into your arduino so I'll just copy this key and now let's move on to the code so over here I'll use these two header files same the MAC address as in web client I have the API of thingspeak which I need to pass the right API key of my project perfect and the update interval is 16 seconds because we are using HTTP communication in the setup function I'll start the Ethernet so in the start Ethernet function it's same as the web client I'll just Ethernet there will be Ethernet begin and uh, yeah once it begins we'll go to the loop we'll read the analog value at the a5 pin I've connected my uh, LED to a5 pin convert it into decimal and then this analog zero value is passed to the field one and uh, in the post request that we made we pass the data and see over here the field one we pass this and that data comes over here and it gets passed in the post request over here and um, so in this way your data is uploaded to your thingspeak account let's upload this code you have some fail counters to check whether your code is running fine and your data is getting updated properly on your thingspeak account so once your code is uploaded let us check so here the Arduino is getting connected to the network it's connecting to the thingspeak account right now my LED is on and uh, we'll see the visualizations over here so the two readings were passed and both my, uh, and both times my LED is on mm. 
now for the fourth time I have turned off my LED so now the fourth reading should be minus one because now my LED is off perfect so I am getting a minus one over here let's keep the LED off still so I will get one more minus one these readings are getting uploaded on the interval of 16 seconds because we are using HTTP communication so now if I turn on the LED I should get a plus one spike so perfect so my readings are getting uploaded properly just a small tip if you're using your laptop uh, uh, for your Ethernet to get the IP address in that case you just need to do some small setting as you're using your laptop the laptop doesn't act as a router and um, it doesn't assign IP address to your Ethernet and that becomes a problem so hence we need to uh, make some changes we need to go in networks and sharing wireless network connection properties sharing and you need to tick these both options once you can uh, take these both options your laptop now can act as a router and it can uh, assign IP address to your Ethernet shield and then it works fine so yeah thanks for watching